What's up Pythoners? Welcome to All About Python. In this video, I am going to talk about how you can install and set up Python within Visual Studio Code. I am going to cover the step by step process from scratch of downloading, installing, setting up and running your first Python script within Visual Studio Code. So without any further ado, let's begin. First, let's discuss about why should we use Visual Studio Code. Now there are a ton of IDEs that you can find online to code in Python. PyCharm is one of the most common among them. They provide a lot of features for Python programmers to code easily. But the problem with them is that they are generally heavy software that consumes a significant amount of computer resources. Which means you need to have a good computer or laptop in order to run PyCharm smoothly within your system. Also, PyCharm can be a bit difficult for new programmers to understand and use. Visual Studio Code aka VS Code on the other hand is a text editor which means it's very lightweight and easy to use for beginner programmers. Also you can add support for tons of file extensions within it by downloading and installing respective VS Code extensions. With that being understood, let's start with downloading and installing Python. To do that, we will open any browser and go to www.python.org which is the official site for Python. Once the site loads, we will click on the downloads tab. Here you will find a download button. You can either directly click on this yellow download button to automatically download the latest Python installer or you can scroll down to download any specific version of Python. I would personally recommend you to download the latest stable release of Python which is 3.9.6 at the time I am making this video. So now we will click on this button and wait for the Python installer to download. Once the download is complete, open your computer's downloads folder and double click on the Python installer to start the download. Once the window is open, we have to do a very important step and that is to click on this checkbox which says add python 3.9 to path. Yours will say something else depending on the version of python you are downloading. But the point of clicking on this checkbox is that the installer will add the system path where python is located to the system environment variable. What it means is that you will be able to open python from anywhere in your system. All you'll have to do is open a terminal and type python. In case of Linux where python 2 might already be present, you might have to type python 3 in order to open python. Once the checkbox is ticked, we click on install now. Now all you have to do is have a cup of coffee, sit back and relax while the installer downloads and installs python onto your system. Here our python installation is complete and it's time that we install Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code For installing Visual Studio Code, go to site code.visualstudio.com slash download. Once the site loads, you will see a screen like this. Here you have to click on the download button based on your operating system. Since I am using Windows, I will click on this button. As soon as I click it, the Visual Studio Code installer gets downloaded. Next, I will again open my downloads folder and double click on the installer executable. As soon as I open it, a window opens with the license agreement on it. Just click on I accept the agreement down below and click on next. Next, it will ask you for a download location. You can manually specify it or leave it as it is. Again, we will click on the next button. Next, it will ask you for the start menu folder. We don't need to change it so we will click on next. Now it will ask you for some additional options. Although you can keep the options as it is in case you intend to use Visual Studio Code for all file types, I would suggest you click on all the checkboxes and then click next. And finally, the installer will confirm all the settings done till now. Once you are ok with the settings, click on install to start the installation. Now you can have another cup of coffee while the installer completes installing VS Code onto your system. 
once the installation is completed a window like this will appear and you'll have to click on the finish button as soon as you click on it visual studio code will open on your system confirming that the installation was successfully completed now that you have python and visual studio code in place there is one last step you'll have to complete open your visual studio code and go to the extensions panel there you'll find the search box at the top left hand side there you have to type python once you do it a list of extensions will appear from that list of extensions you have to click on the topmost extension that you see once you click on it its details will appear on the right side here you'll have to click on the install button to install it and it will be installed within a few seconds that was the last step of installing python and using it with visual studio code now you can easily create edit and run python scripts let's create a script to test it click and open the explorer tab then click on this button to create a new file name the file test.py then the new file will open within vs code let's type something like print don't forget to like subscribe and share this video to all your programmer friends once we have written this code we will click on control plus s to save our file next we will click on run and then run without debugging as soon as you do it a power cell terminal will open below your script will run and its output will be displayed that's all there is in this video if you liked it don't forget to like subscribe and share this video to all your programmer friends because the more you share this video the more people i will be able to reach and help i know how it feels to learn programming on your own and i have 100% support for anyone who has learned programming or is thinking of learning it in case of any doubt or problems you can contact me through this youtube video comments or you can contact me through instagram or by joining my discord server link is in the description with this it's time for me to go this is vishesh bivedi signing off